Hey guys, Biomagic here, and we're back with another episode of Let's Play and Compare Mega Man and Mega Man Powered Up Old Style. And we're kicking it off with Wily Stage 1. And right off the bat, the big difference here is Ready? Classic Mega Man gets a little animation of Dr. Wily climbing into his UFO, and Mega Man Powered Up does not. So anyways, we're started in the stage with a bunch of giant stomper robots. Really the best strategy is to just switch to your eye shot and jump and shoot them as you approach them. And then shortly after that section, you've got these little fire spouts. And really, these jumps can be made without freezing the fire spouts and jumping off of them. But it's really hard to do and made even worse by the fact that you have the fire spouts there. So, I really suggest freezing them. Uh, there's a big energy ball up there that's kind of hard to get to. For some reason, I'm able to get it on Powered Up and not on Classic. And that is like every time. There's really not a whole lot of differences in this level. It's mostly the same. Uh, one big difference, though, is the way the Guts blocks react to being destroyed. In classic version, they'll fly. Uh, Trapnel will fly out and destroy the enemies ahead, whereas in Power It Up, they just get destroyed. Now, right here in Power It Up, you see I'm expecting something, and it never showed up. That's a big difference there. We'll see it in classic in just a moment. In Power It Up, we got another one of these annoying segments. That it's best to use the magnet beam for. See, in classic, one of those bullets is flying by. I like to freeze them on the top part and then jump across. Otherwise, it can be quite difficult. Now, down here on the magnet section again, one thing I want to point out is that in Powered Up, if you are if you have invincibility frames and you fall off the magnet onto the spikes, you're good until your invincibility frames wear off. You have a chance to recover. But in Classic, even if you have invincibility frames, you're dead instantly. Uh, so, we've reached the boss and powered up, so we'll give Classic a chance to catch up after that mistake there. Another thing worth pointing out is that in Classic, if you use the electric shot to destroy the guts blocks, it'll go through one and then stop. Whereas, in Powered Up, it'll go through all of them until the shot goes off the screen. Alright, we've got another section that's a little different between versions. Um, it's actually possible in Classic to get up that tower there with two magnet beams, but it requires pixel-perfect precision. Not so much of that precision is required in Powered Up. Anyways, here we are at the boss. One of my longtime nemesis is the Yellow Devil. Now, right off the bat, there's a huge difference here. In Powered Up, they let him come on the screen, and you can't do anything yet, and he can't hurt you. But, in Classic, he gets some pot shots at you before you even know what's going on. But, on the flip side, another difference there is that and powered up, he's got that tornado that will damage you even if there's nothing actually touching you. Whereas in the classic, all you have to do is make sure you don't touch any of the orange spots. Now, the Yellow Devil's weakness is the electric shot. It's also extremely easy to hit him with it no matter how high the eyeball appears. Notice in classic mode, the eyeball appears at different places, which is the weak point that you have to hit. In classic mode, I don't believe it appears in any place but the same spot. And if you're gonna take a hit, honestly, it's better to take a hit from his bullet than to take a hit from a piece of his body, because you'll take one damage as opposed to, like, four. And there we go, he's defeated in classic mode. Now you can see that he moves a lot slower and powered up. Which is another thing that makes him easier and powered up. Really, all around, he's easier and powered up. Which, you know, 
makes it a little embarrassing with how many hits I actually took in the fight. Although on the flip side, you don't actually have as much room to maneuver around in on Powered Up. So, I guess it's kind of a trade-off there. But he does at least have the same pattern in both versions. Which is something interesting to note, as the yellow... That's not necessarily the yellow devil, but the devil-type enemy is a recurring boss in Mega Man games. And it seems in every game they have a different pattern. I believe even the, the new style of Powered Up has a different pattern. I believe it actually mixes this pattern up as it goes along. Anyway, this battle is almost done. Which will bring us to another difference that I will be pointing out in the next episode. Because this is the end of this episode of Let's Play and Compare Mega Man and Mega Man Powered Up Old Style. I am Blau Major, and I will see you guys next time. <laughs>